Hi there. Today's video is uh, not me making some food. Surprise. Today's video is me reading TikTok comments because uh, if by some miracle you found me from just YouTube and not TikTok, then you probably wouldn't know that I was also on TikTok. So, surprise, I also make videos on TikTok. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing is reading some of my uh, comments. I, I scrolled through my TikTok and looked at a lot of comments and screenshotted a bunch of them so I can read them and just because some of them are kind of funny, uh, I think. Let's see what happens. The most common comment that I get is something along the lines of, you look like Kevboy Perry. Uh, if you don't know who Kevboy Perry is, now this was also talked about on my first podcast episode, um, Kevboy Perry is a guy on TikTok, he's kind of famous, uh, he, I guess, he, he I, I look like him. Uh, this is what he looks like. Um, I guess that's me. Uh, so I get a lot of comments, and I'm talking a lot, like, I almost, like, 85% of the videos that I post on TikTok, I get a comment, or multiple, saying, I thought this was Kevboy Perry. People say things, actually, like this, he looks like the great value version of Kevboy Perry. Yes. Uh, I thought you were Kevboy Perry. Uh, I thought you were Kevboy Perry for a minute, LMAO. I thought you were Kevboy Perry. Literally, these are all the exact same thing, all from different people. Uh, he low-key looks like Kevboy Perry. There's a lot of them. Ah, but of course we can't forget this one from Kevboy Perry. Thanks, Kevin. Apparently I look like a lot of people because alongside the Kevboy Perry comments, I get a lot of comments saying I look like other people. Uh, for example, you kind of look like a skinny David Dobrik. Uh, that's not the first time I got that. I also have, he looks like a thinner David Dobrik, so apparently I'm David Dobrik too, I, which I don't really see. The Kevboy Perry one, I understand that, because I can see the resemblance. However, David Dobrik I don't see. When I wear my hat sometimes, because I wear this hat, and it's just like a black cap, and when I had kind of longer hair and I would wear it, it kind of looked like David Dobrik, because he always wears like a hat like that. But other than that, I don't see the resemblance, so I don't know. I also have one saying, you low-key look like Drake Bell. I don't see that either. Here's another one that I get, again, who I look like. Thought this was Jack Grazer. This one I can see. This is the kid from It. Um, he plays Eddie. I can see the resemblance there, but... Um, ah, and one of my favorite resemblances of people said, doesn't he look a little bit like Draco? As in Tom Felton, the guy who plays Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter series. What? Do, do I look... I, maybe I'll just bleach my... That'll be my next video. Bleaching my hair so I look like Draco Malfoy. You remind me of a Dudley and Draco mix. He looks like Shaggy. A lot of people said I look like Shaggy, too. Do I? <laughs> this one says, Kevin? Nah, this is an older blonde Jack Dylan Grazer. That combined two of the previous ones I talked about, Kevboy Perry and Jack Grazer, but this person acknowledged people saying I look like Kevin, then said, I look like an older blonde Jack Grazer. First of all, I'm not blonde. I'm... my hair is brown. Ha I'm confused. Okay, now we're gonna get into some of the just random comments that don't have to do with who I resemble, because there's a lot of those, and we'll move on to some of the just sort of one-off fun comments that I get to see. Um, oh yeah, so I posted a video a little while back about the fact that TikTok introduced uh, a text feature, because before that you would have to either write on signs, like write on a piece of paper and show it to the camera in order to words, or you'd have to like import like Snapchat videos and like Instagram videos that you'd already put text on. So basically it was really inconvenient if you'd ever wanted uh, to do text or words on your TikToks. So like the day it came out, I made a video about it using TikTok text, right? I got a lot of comments saying, 
this is fake. That I was using some other app to do it, and I was just scamming people and trying to like do it for like popularity or for clout. Um, this guy says, "Chill, guys. It's not a thing." LMAO. Like I got a lot of these, and I understand uh, some people's apps weren't updated, so it's not their fault that they thought it was fake. But I got a lot of hate. People telling me that you're just doing like this isn't real, guys. So, like calm down. It's <laughs> like it's literally how I made the video. I, please just trust me next time. Other comments that I got on this TikTok text video were ones about the fact that uh, people were saying that the app Video Leap, which is, if I'm correct, it's a mobile app for doing editing, some people were commenting that I should use Video Leap instead of the TikTok text feature. Nah, mate, Video Leap is better. I actually edit lots of my TikToks on Final Cut Pro, um, so I'm editing my TikToks on a $300 editing software. Uh, Come talk to me when you stop using Video Leap, which is a free mobile app. So one of my biggest videos on TikTok is a video where I'm showing a picture of me when I was, I think, nine, and I'm wearing a, like some like princess costume. Make over, it's a makey make over, it's a makey lakey wakey fakey fakey kicky rakey nakey. I had a stroke, I had a stroke, I had a stroke, I had a stroke. Lots of people commented because the caption on that video said the date that the photo was taken, I think. I think that's what I put as the caption, August 29th, 2009. And so many people commented, August 29th is my birthday. So a lot of people have that birthday, and this isn't, it, these weren't like, you know, funny comments. It was just the fact that so many people commented this, like, uh, why? Like, I just, every comment I got, I was like, oh, a new comment? Oh, it's just someone else who was born on August 29th. Thank you for that update. Another one of my bigger videos is one where I did a book review of the Bible. So, I, you know what, I'll just play it right now. Book review. So I just finished this book, uh, it's called Holy Bible. I would rated a solid 8 out of 10. My only two critiques would be that there's a lot of characters, so it's a little bit hard to keep track of everyone. And also there's one uh, main character, his name is God. He just felt a little bit overpowered. Like I feel like if he had some more flaws, he'd be a little bit more relatable to the readers. Uh, but other than that, uh, it was a really great read, and I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing if they make a sequel. I got a lot of comments on that one, uh, many of which played along with the joke and s said uh, some things about the sequel part of that, where he said at the end, I'm really looking forward to seeing if they make a sequel. This one says, Holy Bible 2, The Squeakquel. I really hope there's an Alvin and the Chipmunks adaptation of the Bible made someday. Um, I would go watch that in theaters. The sequel is Shrek. I love this comment. I do not love the fact that Shrek is spelled wrong. How do you spell Shrek wrong? It's... The Bible 2, Tokyo Drift. That's a movie I would go see. Can you imagine, like, Noah's Ark just being like... <laughs> 10 out of 10. Is not supposed to have flaws, he's perfect. Well, that's just bad character development. Even for God. Did you just rate the Bible? Yes. He looks like the guy from the movie, like, heck. What movie? What? I'm totally not stalking your page. Yeah, you are. Fortnite is better than Minecraft and Roblox. Please leave. Thank you very much. Imagine thinking Fortnite is a bad game. Can't relate. I can relate. Because I'm thinking it right now. I'm gonna guess you're not athletic. I guess not in a rude way, but is that true? Uh, you clearly haven't seen this picture. I'm the most athletic guy around. There was no words in this video. Like, nothing was written on the screen, and I got a comment saying, spelled it wrong. What? I like raisins, though. Get off my page. So I made a video about how, um, 2004 kids, uh, are the worst. I'm sure you've seen the memes about how 04 kids are always like, oh, we grew up with that too, and like all the kids that were from like, like the er, like late 90s and like early 2000s are like, grew up with things and the 04s like didn't, but they like to try to fit in with us, that kind of thing. So I made a video joking about that. This person says, why? I'm an okay 04 kid. No, you're not. If you're born in 2004, you're not okay. Sorry to break it to you. Uh, so that concludes the video. Uh, I think what we learned today was that, um, I get a lot of the same comments from a lot of people, and also that I apparently look like a combination of Kevboy Perry, David Dobrik, 
Shaggy, Dudley, Draco Malfoy, and Jack Dylan Grazer. Works for me. Anyways, so uh, that was that video. Uh, I searched for a long time and I was hoping I'd have a little more diversity in the comments that I got, but apparently I didn't have as many as I thought. I'm hoping to make some more YouTube content, uh, kind of get more into that because I enjoy doing it. And uh, yeah, so that's the end of this video. I'll see you next time when I do some other stupid thing. See you later.